Hey guys, welcome back to another Carlo Draft. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we opened Rakdos. Been wrecked by this card quite a few times. But I haven't gotten to play it with, for myself. So hopefully we can end up with a, uh, a Rakdos deck or a deck that can splash this. But yeah, 6 mana, 6-6, six, six, Flying Trample. At the beginning of your end step, target opponent may sacrifice two non-land, non-token permanents. If they don't, you draw two cards. Pretty decent pack though. We got a makeshift uh binding a clan basher slice from the shadows case of temple garden panther um even the orangutan has been pretty decent but pick two we got past another <laughs> rare no all right tissa what's this do three mana two three death touch at the beginning of your end step investigate for each opponent who lost life this turn whenever a Clue you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield. Create a 1-1 one, one black and white creature token with flying. Alright. That also seems really insane. We are passing like a private eye. Panel tipster. But I guess the person to my right must have opened another better rare. Okay. But pick three. We have a couple of options here. Been really happy with this uh, neighborhood guardian. It's also a leering onlooker. And yeah, I think it's between those two cards since we're looking at black, white, or red right now. I think I'm gonna take the Guardian over the Onlooker. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'd rather go white, black splash Rakdos. Because Rakdos is a late game. There's two Tunnel Tipsters in here. What is happening? Oh, there's also a Galvanize looking. Never mind. Let's see the Galvanize. I deal 3 damage to target creature. If you draw in 2 or more cards this turn, this deals 5 damage instead. That was a shock. Caught red-handed. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn suspected. A little far from the insidious root, though I do want to have some fun with this card at some point. But yeah, let's take the shock here. Looks like we're moving more into red. The leech is pretty decent. The case of the Gorgon might be okay, but looking at our deck right now, it's probably not amazing. So let's take the slimy dual leech, which gives a creature with power two or less plus one plus O until end of turn, and it gains death touch. And I think the second card I pick is the repeat offender. There's also a public thoroughfare to splash. Probably Tessa. Uh, I think I'll take the Slimy Delich for now. Could probably pick these up later. Uh, but I think Reckless Detective is a good 2-drop. Whenever attacks, you may sacrifice an artifact or discard a card. If you do, draw a card. And this gets plus 2, plus 0 oh until end of turn. Expose the Culprit. Turn target face down creature face up. Exile any number of face-up creatures you control with disguise. Uh, in a face-down pile, shuffle the pile and cloak them. Don't think that's anything great. Pack's pretty weak. Don't think this is good. Maybe the Soul Search if you end up in black white. But not too much of a fan of that card either. Either Slice in the Shadows is a good removal. Build it on the job as well. Can't be countered, which is nice to get around the ward. And target feature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. Um, Rage. Or a... Confiscation. Pretty late accusation as well. Mind running one mind rot, maybe. Late bulletproof. Maybe I should be switching into blue. But uh, Shady Informant is perfectly fine as well. Uh, toxin Analysis, maybe? 
it looks like blue is a little open, but those cards weren't like bomb level to pull me in. I would trade just robbery. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of their library face down. You may look at those cards for as long as they remained exile. You may cast a spell this way. Oh, if you may cast, if you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. It's a little slow. But seems very powerful. So I will take it. We are passing another public thoroughfare. But I guess right now we're looking some kind of black red, most likely. I think this is still good enough to splash if we can find the fixing. Wouldn't mind this card either. Putting this on turn three as a 4 2 flyer might be pretty good. Ooh, performer is really good. Passing another shock, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I've been pretty happy with this card. Uh, 2 3 2 is pretty decent just to play on turn 2, but if this survives, you can burn out your opponent pretty easily. However, I don't think we have that much disguise right now, just the Shady Informant, I believe. Hopefully, we pick up some more. What is this? Whenever this deals combat damage, choose one. Each player loses one life, each player gains one life. You trade a warrior. So, a lightning helix in this pack. Person of interest would also be great. We can reveal one of the red cards. Yeah, I'm gonna take this in the hopes to splash the Issa. What am I losing out on? The repeat offender. Maybe the bystander just has some decent two drops. And the branch as a I could take the branch because it's a disguise. Reacher and fixing, but I think I'd rather have the surveil land. Field of the dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen here. How good is our black really? Can we go white? White red? Could just take an ape as a safer pick. Take a stalker. I think I'm gonna take the public thoroughfare here. Have two ways to splash the white. That's crazy. <laughs> Pick five lamplight phoenix is nuts. Okay, so we're red X, and our black isn't that great, right? We have robbery and slice, but aside from that, it's and leech, I guess. It's not amazing, so I could see us going into white, maybe, depending on what we get past. Nice. Four mana make two two twos is great. Breakout is probably pretty good as well, but that is not our colors. Yeah, pretty easy pick here. There we go, got some black cards on the wheel. Do we need more early game? Probably. I should probably just take the Fender over one of these stronger disguise cards, I think. Ooh, I guess I'll take a second for some interest. I do want this uh, Gora Hound. All our creatures are have like power two or less and get us some value later. Got an orangutan anyways. Oh, are the Night Drinker? <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, looks like we are red, black then. Yeah, let's try the Night Drinker. I don't know if that's about three persons of interest is insane. Just take the two drop here. Yeah, I might run that. It's a late eavesdropper as well, but that card's pretty decent. Whoa, what is this? Um, when it enters a battlefield, target opponent creates two 1-1 one, one dog creature tokens. When it dies, each opponent loses 3 life. 6-2 menace. 
you basically want to play this as a disguise all the time. Yeah, I think that's good enough. We're losing a Stract. A Confession. The Branch, I guess. But we don't have to splash the this uh, if we don't need to. You think candle, candle, find the Stein meddler's real good. Three mana, three two enters the battlefield. Suspect to one target creature you control over the savior here. Also a snoop, but he tests us now. <laughs> Splash, slice from the shadows is good. Passing so many orangutans, but. You know, <laughs> not that great. Ooh, I do like Offender at large as well, but do we want another Galvanize? Yeah, I think so. The plus two plus O is super relevant and it flips into such a big body. I think it's more likely to wheel, so I will take the Galvanize here. Automaton. Demand answers. Hot red handed. Don't really have any ways to sack anything. Probably not running like any of this. Maybe the demand answers. Red herring. I will take another repeat offender here. Probably better than the high standard. And yeah, we got a stalker, which I think I will play. Ooh, push and pull is also insane. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Great pick eight. Gonna have to start making some cuts now. Dual Leech is actually really good at all these person of interest now, making, making them 3-2 attackers. Because we don't need the Cerebral con Confiscation, might not need the Toxic Analysis. A Rage might actually be okay, right? That one more cut. All the interrogators wheeling. Maybe we don't want the presumed dead because it doesn't work with our. Uh, tokens. And we'd rather have the rage because that does work with the tokens. This is a three. This is a three. This is a three. Yeah, we got some good interaction as well. Shock, two galvanize, two slices, and a push. The deck looks real good to me, but I've heard black is not good in this format. Let's jump into it and hopefully Rakdos can get us a few wins. I think we mulligan this. Three salons is brutal. Well, I'm not gonna mulligan again, so. It's the person of interest or a swamp? Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. Maybe. Yeah, let's just pitch the person of interest. Two. Mulligans with 
three swamps, huh? Oh, a two drop is a good draw for us. Three mana pass might be a little concerning. Ace down card. But let's play out the meddler, giving our offender menace. Yep, that's good. So now, um, when we activate this ability, it just gets a counter on it since it's already suspected, which is nice. Whoa. Big damage. Can we just galvanize the flyer here? And am I okay trading my meddler? I think so. I think it's too good to put in my graveyard. Let's just play out the leech. And just keep getting in with this offender. They do get access to an extra mana since I didn't kill the researcher. They can untap a land. But if I get them low enough that this pull can kill them, <laughs> getting their offender at large and spy is already pretty good. Satchel. Is this good enough to pull right now? They do get to tap down one of my creatures, though. But like might even be better just to push <laughs> their forensic researcher instead of pulling, which seems really weird. So if I pull, I pull the five four. They tap the five four. I get in for four, five, six, seven damage. So let's just go for an attack here. I think I'll punt up the leech. So if they tap the leech now, I can activate the repeat offender a couple times for two damage. Or I can push the forensic researcher and activate the repeat offender. Oh, plus I can always collect evidence in response. So the pull actually is pretty bad as long as this is on the board. I think I will just push this then. Oh, maybe I should have just sliced it instead. Oops, that was probably better. Okay, I forgot I even had the slice in my hand. Yeah, yeah, mistake, mistake there. So I slice that, get in for two damage instead of three, and then the turn after I pull for a lot more damage. If we lose this game, it's definitely on me.
Oh, they're attacking. Because they can make another 1-1. One, one. With the satchel. Oh, they got another removal spell. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Let's get draw. Do they have a counter spell? And we get the splice open for the bystander. If they have some kind of pump spell. I should have just played this after combat though. I've been holding onto the slice too long, waiting for something better to kill, but killing that 2 1 would have prevented them from drawing a card and getting another flyer on the board, so. Well, there is something worth slicing now. Yeah, this satchel has been brutal for us, though. This game would have been over if I had used that pole correctly. Probably putting it on the menace is the best here. You're gonna have three blockers, they're not quite dead here. Kill a 1 1, they can chump chump. They can double block. Just that with this. Ooh, so tempted to shock something here. Shock to the face is so close to lethal as well. One off lethal here. They do need a couple of walkers here, though. That does work. <laughs> oh, they have one mana now. Wait. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> Just chump now. They chump this, they block that, they just trade there and they're okay. I absolutely hate the way I played this game. I'm hoping they block with their profit, but they did not. And I think we are probably screwed now. We gotta draw Rakdos or something to get back in this. But yeah, they can sacrifice a crew clue, draw X cards and gain X life. Phoenix is nice though. Combat. <laughs> They're gonna draw like a million cards. No. Oh my god. 
that one turn that I didn't save my pole, I think, absolutely destroyed us. use all their mana. I think blue has so many good ways of dealing with the Phoenix. Am I about to get pulled on? Reverse pull. Flyers right now. Rakdos off the top. Can I draw Rakdos, please? This would be a really weird attack from them. That's fine. Or one damage off lethal. It's instant. It is intense. Instant. Ah. Uh, to gain a ton of life again. Or six damage. Six damage. Do we just hold back now? Four, five, six, seven. Maybe I hold back. They're gonna get to sack their clue and gain a bunch of life next turn. Yeah. Could attack with the leech though. Well, I guess we weren't one lot off because the Phoenix can't get pumped by the leech. Looking kind of rough. Four, seven. Yeah, let's just. Hopefully, they don't have a counter. Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> really hope they're not running a counter. Because they get to draw a bunch of cards as well. But if they don't draw, like, they get to... They're pretty close to decking. But I don't think we'll be able to deck them before they can kill us. Oh, they tapped out, though. Hold. They don't have a counter. What is their deck? Huh? <laughs> Double Goblin Maker? I mean, I guess it's not the worst here, because maybe we are going for a deck out plan now. But it's extremely funny. Okay, 4-7. You just hard cast this. I can play this whenever, right?
Okay. <laughs> Two cards left opponent's deck, but several cards in their hand. The four, eight, nine, ten. So I'm assuming they still have like a lot of land in their hand, right? Eleven. Yeah, we've only seen eleven lands, so they probably have at least six more somewhere. So half of these cards, or wait, they have nine cards. So only three of those cards are real spells. I think we're looking pretty decent. If they are running 17 lands. See, I uh, perfectly missed my pur purposefully. Yeah, pur purposefully. See, I misplayed on purpose just so we can have a more entertaining game. We're still okay. Yeah, because they cannot bomb. Our entire board. We have the shock. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. So, yeah, we get them with the mill here. Just in case I'm missing anything. Play that out. Hey, first mill of the format. Sweet. <laughs> <clears throat> Calculated. Okay, at least we have both our colors this time around and a good looking curve. Except we are on the draw. Nice shock draw as well. They have a two drop, which it doesn't seem like they do. Phoenix on turn three, I think is still correct, but if they do have removal, it's a little unfortunate because I cannot collect evidence to bring up back the Phoenix. And since they are white, black, I'm assuming they do have the removal. Can you sack it? Just make me sack it, man. I have so much things to do with my mana that I just like casting out the Phoenix here. And if it lives, that's so good for us. It's kind of annoying. Block, block, block. Yes, yes, yes. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. That's real annoying as well. We find a removal for the uh, Wisp Drinker here. I had double removal spell. Down. Oh, they have the makeshift binding anyways. That was going to get rid of the Phoenix no matter what, so... Not a huge deal there. No double removals. Yeah. Pretty good for them. The drain from the vampire is going to make it very difficult for us to race. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Guess we're... Ah! Nice game. Nice game. Fun. Fun stuff.
<laughs> Any chance you want to double block my person of interest? I've been wrecked by this card too many times during this during my drops too. Why? Rakdos and Vein Ripper have just been ruining my life. Uh eight hit damage, nine, ten, eleven damage here. And then we're just dead because whenever a creature dies, we lose two life. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Fun game of magic. Okay, one one. Good hand, but we're on the draw again. We just play out the performer. Oh, I guess we could. Ah, we probably just play out the performer here. Turn two case is a little scary. Four power, eh? Drawing two cards, this does five damage. Don't really have a way of drawing. Yeah, this sucks, but we gotta kill that. Now we really need some lands. Flat, flat. <laughs> four, four flyer. Okay, that is a land, which is good. Instant speed. You got blue still, but I think that's worth it. Could have also just played out the night drinker and lose three life instead of going for a morph. Rage is actually a perfectly good draw here. Can attack. Give it. Plus two attack to make it 2 2. As well as play out our morph. But yeah, we're kind of just looking for lands for both of our rares in our hand. You again? Oh man. <laughs> Not. It's not a land. Dude, their deck is insane. What? Holy shoot. I was like, if we kill all their threats early, we might be okay. Okay, pulls an okay draw. I guess. <laughs> nah, it's not instant speed. Or the push isn't instant speed, though. And their... Quizzit... As, oh, sorry, Alquiz, Alquizit, 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 Prop. As vigilance. Two damage to any target. Yeah, I guess this is okay. But I feel like they're gonna have some kind of interaction. Lands. Like to draw lands. More vigilance. Great. Love it. Damn. 
Yeah, I guess we're screwed now. God, this draft has been pretty frustrating so far. And they can start popping, popping off with their acquisite. I'm going to acquisite to prop, even though I know that's not what it is. We've run one land this entire game. Is that correct? And all of our late game stuff. Plus they can make their detectives unblockable at instant speed. Yep, that'll do it. Alright, one, two. I think our deck's very good, but I don't think there's really anything we could have done there. Alright, can we... Another game on the draw. Can we reverse? Can we get the reverse? Six wins in a row. Can I at least get to cast Rakdos once? Is that, is that an option I have? Oh, bad. Repeat offender from the opponent. Do I want to block? No, because I probably want to discard for some lands. In case they do have some kind of trick. Yeah, I don't think we want this rage. Mine is nice. Now I don't want to discard anything. I guess a shady informant can discard here. Doesn't take us a while to play and flip up that. Other go root into person of interest into Rakdos, hopefully. Or just find lands for Rakdos. Three. I don't want to get three three. I think I will decline here though. Oh, oops! This only gets attack <laughs> if you do the thing. Okay, that's good to know. Thought I gained the attack out whenever it became tapped. <laughs> That makes more sense though. Card is less good than I thought, but still I think it's a solid card. And yeah, we have Rakdos, so I like saving HP whenever possible. Probably will just slice their 3 3 next turn. We don't find anything better to do. We don't want to pitch either of these cards. Okay. Definitely don't want to pitch either of those cards. I can also kill their face down card now. Or turn ours up. Oh, this might be better. Turn this up. Kill their face down card. I think we should hold the land though, <laughs> just so we can make sure to play the Rakdos. 
next turn instead of getting in for two more damage with the detective. There we go. Three different colors. Probably doing some investigating shenanigans. Gonna punch my brute. Just a face down card. All right, at least we got to play Rakdos this draft. Gotta make some blocks here. Oh, I think they're just dead, maybe. Yeah, if they block like this, they're just dead. Oh, no, they're not. They just figured out. Doi. Spurry token. Nice. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to get at least two wins with this crazy deck. Nice. You're on the play, finally. We really need a third land. A little bit of a riskier keep, but I don't think it's a right to mulligan this. You have two shots at finding a land. Play two one, I probably will just place it. One three. Former. Looking for more lands. The double slice should be good against Boros, though. No blocks. You got me. Yeah, just play the meddler. I think this is still worth it, just keep getting surveils. Get yeah, one's okay. It only really hit us for two damage, so not a huge deal. Sit play a haste. Haste would be a little scary. Plus with the meddler I can throw it into a block so they have to have a combat trick. And I don't think I want them to use it, so yeah, I'll take two damage. Looks like both players are just going to be attacking. Oh, that is unfortunate, though. The red to flip. Six mana. I don't want to slice either of those still. Maybe a disguise the stalker attack for two. Now let's just play the person of interest, get the red card out of her hand. If we draw a land, we can just play this naturally. We really don't want them to attack with three creatures though. Because once this is solved, everything getting plus one attack is pretty brutal for us. No haste. Google. <laughs> Alright, neither player is blo blocking ever. All 
right, they did solve their case. I should keep these slices open, but it's just so much better. Keep going wide. Because to solve their case, they do have to swing out. Oh, they hit three lands. I don't know if, that's, if they wanted to hit land, but that's crazy. I doubt they wanted to hit a land there. Yeah, these places don't feel that great. They're just so expensive, right? Five mana to kill this, for example. They probably know I have it in, the ha in my hand since it's been pausing like every single time. This is two, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Yeah, I guess it's okay. We get a two for one here. Deny them a card from the chases on. Yes. Oh, it did cut me out of my red. Damn it. So now I can't flip my performer. That's annoying. Should I, I should have looked at the double or uh, the auto tapper there. Left it open for so I can cast slice for zero. Love it. Good thinking game. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Is he exposing it? <laughs> or is he just... Oh, I guess he's just off of the game now. And they're 2-4 can't block. No! <laughs> they didn't get to flip the performer. Okay, at least we got three wins, so that's the bulk of our gems back. But, dude, this deck is good. On the play with a... This is a pretty good hand, I guess. We got a 2-3 removal. A little land heavy, but... In our past games, we really needed land, so... Might not be a bad thing. But yeah, on the play I do, we think we just put the performer as a 3-2, because often the opponent doesn't even have a 2-drop, and this can just get in for 3 anyways. I mean, they are playing red, so... They have a shock or something. They do get got. They got something. Galvanize, okay. Yeah, hands a. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. Like I have a lot of value and stuff. <laughs> I guess. Galvanizing that plus repeat defender, then we're kind of just living off the top after that. Ooh, Phoenix. Spectre. Okay, two. Play the repeat offender. That curve has been pretty good, but Odin has also had a decent curve. 
another goblin. This card isn't good, right? <laughs> it's only good on turn one. Why is everyone playing it? Go to flip and just start draining for one. Let's see what they do here. If they try to trade, then I will flip. Maybe I should have played the repeat offender. Oh no, I couldn't activate plus Phoenix. No, that's okay then. Don't really care about their uh, person of interest since I can't block. Oh, that's really good to get a flyer here. I can block. And they have a 3 3 now. get so phoenix over the brute because if they do kill the phoenix we have evidence to return it back i could have attacked with the person of interest as well just to kill their flyer but that's great. It's a little weird attack. Maybe they have a board wipe of sorts. I really hope they don't have a board wipe. <laughs> that feels like they have a board wipe. Maybe I should have just taken it. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. All right, we can just attack out. No fear. Six mana. So yeah, we just play out the brute and flip it at the end of their turn, most likely. That was a mistake because they did it at the end of my turn, so they can't cast that. It wasn't because that only lets you cast the spell off the case until end of turn. the brute go down to one I always forget this has the ability, and when it dies, the opponent loses three life. Oh, shock wins us the game, but looks like we win anyways. Okay, four wins. See, this is what I expected the deck to be doing. <laughs> Me first. Keepable. Got a galvanize on two, but I'm unlikely to hit anything. And then a turn three drinker, turn four person of interest. I guess there's something to hit, but I don't want to really hit an inspector with my galvanize. More white aggro. Ooh, white black though. Ooh, haunch. It's like a bone splitter. Turn into two dogs later. I guess that's all right ish. <laughs> Three mana, two, two. Your move. I 
gonna be. I have a lot of. They're playing a real wide. They're playing the haunch. They've already played in like a cheap one drop as well. Ooh. Flyer is annoying. Two mana to flip up. I think I want them to equip the galvanize to the savior and hopefully get him with the galvanize here. It's not indestructible trigger, is there is there? So I can just turn this face up and try to block first. And see if they try to use a combat trick, and if they don't, I can just galvanize. Do have the Rakdos in our hand too. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, lands. Please. Land, please. That's all I asked for. I will probably trade here. Very good. They are holding priority. But I think it's for the clue. So. Let's go. Don't have the kill power for a greater. No! We're dead. Okay, we have that robbery. Ah, uh, the that was the only card that got us there, right? Because they couldn't cast murder. Guess I could have played around it. In hindsight, I should have. I don't know if it was correct though to play around it. Each plus offender is probably better than the robbery here. It's so unfortunate, though. Oh, shoot, okay. I mean, not the end of the world, because it does take out a lot of their turn, but I didn't realize, for some reason, I thought this was a different card. Remember, kids, read, read the cards. Okay, we're trading this off for the doggies. Okay, let's open this robbery. Can save us. Yeah, I thought this um, was the flyer. That's a great combo. Triggers it twice. Oh god. Need a removal for that. For six here is great. <laughs> Interesting. What does that mean? Yeah, it's a touch trick. Just missed a damage. Make sure to get rid of their Delaney now. Let's 
one, two, three, four, five mana here. I don't want to save this confession. Oh, shoot. Sloppy, sloppy. I didn't mean to play that face down. And a turn. Much to flip four. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Need seven mana to flip, play, flip. Okay. This menace doesn't completely wreck me here. Uh oh. Is there something that gives plus one, plus one to everything? This would be fine if that was the case. And this would be okay. pretty annoying <laughs> okay that's what they had um it was under the skirt oh no oh, ho, ho. we're dead Oh my god. We're so dead. Holy shoot, dude. Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing we can do about that, I guess. Yeah, it's more land. I guess I could have been attacking with this informant. But I don't even know what we're looking for anymore. Oh, our pole? This pole save was noise. There are too much HP. Because I can. Get a lot of damage still. Oh my god. Is that worst possible? I think I'm digging. <laughs> Land is exactly what we were looking for. Pull. I guess we can't pull from our own graveyard, right? Can't get a rack this on the board? We have no else because we do a land there. Good, good. Yep. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, I think I, I feel like I did something wrong for sure. At some point. But I just didn't think about that, though, the Hexproof, because if 
think we might have been fine otherwise if it was like any other yeah they had the, the dead touch to kill both my creatures and then they also had the um the hex proof right so it would have been okay i think if i had kept my life linker alive or yeah maybe i should yeah i should have just kept my life linker alive but i really thought they had a board buff or something Still four wins, but I a little salty. Deck was amazing. I think I played it poorly, but thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.